Today I want to talk about how much this heckin' boy means to me. I played the original DS version of Nine Hours, Nine Persons, Nine Doors, and Santa quickly became my favorite character because he looks like a disco ball kind of threw up on him. Um, I am going to go into spoilers territory here, so please do not listen if you have not played the Zero Escape trilogy, or at least the first game. There may be spoilers for everything else as well. I remember writing role-playing as Santa back in 2012, around that time. And he was pretty much my favorite character to write because um, he comes across as kind of a jerk. In that he's all like, yo, I don't care what's going on. I don't care who we have to leave behind. I'm getting out of this place. Because, um, you know, they're playing what's essentially a Saw game on a boat that's going to sink in nine hours. Hence the names, right? There's nine people on the boat. You got to find the number nine door. <laughs> it's it's the, the numbers and stuff. Um, What's interesting about Santa is that even though his bracelet has the number three on it, he is represented by um, the enthusiast type 7 in the Enneagram, and all of the characters were actually assigned uh, types in uh, by Uchikoshi, so you should look that up in the Q&A stuff. Um, as the enthusiast, what happens is that, uh, I, I can't explain as well as the website does, but essentially they want freedom, they want to be able to do what they can, they are looking to just have a good time, which is, you know, the vibe that he gives off. But then you hit the end game, and then you find out that Santa is actually Kurashiki Aoi. And he gave up so much of his time to save his sister's life. He, he just, he had no choice. He was the older brother, he had to take care of her, their parents passed away when they were children, and he had to grow up really, really fast. And so it's ridiculous that uh, this, this disco fool became a freaking stockbroker. I mean, granted, he had psychic powers that enabled him to play the stock market, can you imagine, if we all knew that Dogecoin was going to blow up? But that's basically what he did, except he invested in a pharmaceutical company that was run by the man who kidnapped his sister when they were children and traumatized them for the rest of their goddamn lives. Now, I bring this up because Santa's entire narrative is so good, and uh, <laughs> guess what? Sean Shiplock voiced him in the remaster, the port that's bundled up in uh, Nonary Games. So when you play this game, there is now voice acting, and Sean Shiplock voiced my boy. So, one of these days, I do hope to reach out to him and be like, Hey, hey, Kekshima, I know you got other roles, and I know you do things beyond voice acting, so like, what's up? Uh, Greg Chun also said that you're one of the best voice actors in the industry. So, what's up? <laughs>